While the JFK Islanders wait for parts of their new campus in Upper Tumon to be completed, the school's contractor, International Bridge Corporation, is doing some work the school would rather it not. A week and a half ago, staff reported to the administration that a gate that had been separating the main campus from the athletic fields in the back was taken down. Assistant Principal Hannah Gutierrez says IBC didn't tell school administrators that the fence was being removed, and she says it served two important purposes. During instructional time, we want to control the kids from leaving the campus. Uh, we do know that students do have a mind of their own at times, and we'll look for an opportunity to uh, try to escape or get out of um, class if they could. Uh, second concern is during the weekend and also during our night events, uh, we can't control the crowd from entering our main campus and we would like to do that. IBC, however, claims that the fence was supposed to be taken down as part of a contractual agreement. Department of Public Works Deputy Director Carl Dominguez says his drawings show otherwise and that the fence should still be in place. Dominguez plans to meet with IBC management tomorrow to compare documents. But the administrators at JFK want the fence put back up. We want the gate put back up, uh, like we said, where our main concern is the safety of the students, uh, running an effective and efficient school, and that does pose a concern now with the gate being down. Meanwhile, the Islanders are still waiting for the ability to use portions of their campus that they've been told would be ready by now. Right now, our tennis courts, um, the anticipated completion date was supposed to be mid-February. Uh, we just received word last week, Thursday, that it's going to be a delay again for another two, three weeks due to off-island material being flown in. Uh, our gym is still expected to be completed in March. Uh, again, that's with the humidity levels and them having to treat the floor and put a barrier before the actual flooring is laid. Students are also waiting for their baseball and softball fields to be completed. IBC is now saying that the fields will be ready in March but it's getting harder to take them at their word. With all the pushbacks and the deadlines being uh, always delayed, uh, the JFK community, you know, we're quite depressed and quite sad that the seniors this year may never have access to any of the sporting facilities this year.